All right, uh, today is June the 15th, 2016. This is just a very quick update. Uh, we have a disturbance right here uh, south of uh, the Mexican coast, right down here near Central America. We're going to take a look at that real quick now on the uh, National Hurricane Center map. And we can see that this area here is listed as a disturbance with a 20% chance of hurricane formation in uh, 48 hours. So we're going to keep an eye on this, but it is being uh, attacked with microwave energy. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a minute. So uh, we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, in the meantime, let's look at some of these maps. We have uh, the uh, eastern East Pacific right here. And this is that disturbance we were just uh, looking at on the map. This is all being hit with microwave. We can see a, a, the very beginning of a blast pattern right, right here at the last frame right there right here the side is blowing out of that the the uh, east side and also down around here so let's look at the uh next map here this is the rainbow loop we can see some uh, color change right here as the system is uh, superheated it's a very large system so they're going to uh they're going to have to uh, hit this probably all day long at different times to knock it down if they if they intend to knock it down, they can let this turn into a hurricane. Uh, the uh, temperature of these waters right through here is between 86 and 89 degrees. All right, we'll take a look at that on the uh, temperature map as well. Now let's look at the visible light map. This tells the whole story. We can see the uh, <clears throat> can see the photoshopping up until the uh, night to day transition, and then we get some good contrast. So let's go ahead and scroll through this. Uh, now right here we can see some uh, dimple marks here, 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 there, there, here, there, and all through here. There's about five or six right here. And these two large craters have already been hit. They're expanding also up here and over here, and as well as all through here. So let's go ahead and watch what happens. Watch these craters expand. Right here we can see the expansion, this round crater. Right here, this is a pretty good example. Right here, these these uh, get very large as as we scroll through the half hour uh, snapshots. Let's just back this up again. You can see the photoshopping here, this overlay. This is the superheating process. Uh, I believe they're using microwave to do this. This could be done with laser as well. Uh, but microwave is effective. Certain uh, frequencies of, of microwave energy are very effective at heating water vapor. And uh, at any rate, this, this storm is being uh, blown apart either by uh, microwave or laser. And we can see how that's being done. They superheat the water vapor. We have rapid expansion. And then we see a blast pattern around the uh, periphery of the, of the uh, storm and then the storm implodes it it, it, uh, it uh, weakens the system and uh, it will not convect and so we end up seeing a lot of uh, supposed to look like, looks like steam around the uh, the periphery there let's go ahead and run this and they're also hitting all through here too and there's a, there's a, right there, see that ring? Right there, we have a blast ring. And same thing right over here, we can see a, right there, there's a shock wave. These are uh, shock waves generated by the uh, rapidly expanding water vapor, superheated water vapor. Let's go back and take a look at the, uh, infrared loop you can actually see some of that shock wave right here right there and here's the uh, water vapor loop again and we can see a blast right right there right there in fact this whole area is a blast pattern 
So that's how they're doing this. And uh, so they, they can allow hurricanes to form like we saw all last season. We had a record number of hurricanes in the uh, eastern Pacific. Let's take a look at the uh, northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We have the same pattern. This blockade is still in place. Uh, this upper level low has taken on some of this uh, moisture that's wrapping around down into the uh, core of this system. We can see the transmitter is pretty much parked right over the top of that upper level low. A low pressure system. Also, we have a system down here that's being uh, blown apart. We can see the blast pattern right there. All along here, they're hitting all these storms. And right now on the foothills of Los Angeles at about 10 o'clock in the morning, we have a, a temperature of 59 degrees. The uh, relative humidity is 85%. The dew point is 54 degrees. The barometer is rising. We've got a, a measurement of 29.95. We have some uh, very heavy marine layer this morning. It's actually misting a little bit. So we'll uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, this map doesn't indicate that we would be having a, a a heavy marine layer, but uh, that's what's happening now. Okay, so that's the uh, report for today. We can see uh, the uh, infrared map here for the uh, eastern Pacific, that disturbance right here. Okay, so that's the report. We'll do another one uh, tonight.